Let's talk about email marketing for a minute. I was asked a great question by one of my clients recently, and I thought I would share it. And the question was, how do I move people from my social media following into my email list so that I can grow my email list faster? And I thought this was such a great topic of conversation. But first, if we haven't met, my name is Kim. I'm a business mentor. I draw on my 20 plus years of sales and marketing to help other entrepreneurs grow their business faster. Let's dig into this. Now, I think this is something a lot of social media gurus don't talk about. And I am not a social media (laughs) guru, but I have had a lot of success in my business. And so I think one of the things that a lot of people don't realize is that you really want to take that following off platform into your email list. If not, you really leave yourself at risk of seeing all of your hard work evaporate if the platform makes changes or something happens and they shut you down. And so there's a couple ways that you can do that. And I really want to reiterate how important this is because I have heard so many horror stories from all the communities I'm in. I remember someone who was a maker who had an Etsy storefront and they were making fifty to $70,000 a month and they had Etsy shut down their storefront and they had never pulled their data off platform. So they lost their entire list. No way of even contacting past customers to be like, hey, my storefront's gone, but you can still buy my products. So I don't want that to happen to you. How do you get people into your email list? First of all, if you're on a platform where you have access to that data, make sure you're taking it out of there. Secondly, if you're using things like TikTok or the other, the book face or Pinterest or whatever that may be, you're going to want to start inviting people to get into your email list in two ways, the really common and highly successful ways to do that are one, you can have a lead magnet or two, you could have a low ticket offer. So a lead magnet is just a fancy term for, I'm going to give you a free resource if you give me your email address. <laughs> so downloads, templates, you probably have subscribed to many of those and have them in your inbox. That's how you can get into someone's email list. The second one is a low ticket offer. Not talked about as much, but a low ticket offer is a great low barrier of entry way for people to become part of your community take some of those first steps to solving the problem and acquiring the solution that they're seeking. And you get an opportunity to you know them what you're made of, have a really high value content, really over deliver for under $20. For example, Profitable Impact Academy is my business. We have a $7 offer. It's called the Borrowed Audiences Toolkit. We show entrepreneurs seven ways to tap into a borrowed audience. This is an audience you did not build yourself, right? And it helps you, especially if you're starting from zero, helps you build your email list faster. Now, I really hope this helps. If you have other questions, drop them in the comment section and I will come back and I always try and answer every question (laughs) within a couple days. Helps me make great content for you and it lets me know where are other people getting stuck. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you on the next one.